that thing you used to oh, do. Oh, you're again. a chip monkey. No. We lied. You're not. You're not. Oh. What's up, everybody? Okay, Hello. go live now. Do it now. Okay, I'm doing it. How's it going? <sighs> Good. Happy Monday. Um. Oh, I said. <laughs> oh, I can't click on comments because I'm in the back. Hi, to Piercy. Hi, Sam. Hi, Trevor. What up, Restream? <laughs> what up, Restream? Yo. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, man. I like, I only Piercy. have some of these comments. Yeah, I'm too. not even seeing these. What's up? I'm assuming they popped in. Sup, Sam? I'm assuming they popped in when it like showed up on YouTube. But hey, everybody. Oh. Uh, uh, so uh, it's been a minute. Uh, you know what time it is? What time? It's 11. Hi, Geek Collective. Nope. It's 9.08. 9.08 p.m. on a it's Friday. It's time for... On a Sunday. Flash Ray! <laughs> I should, we should all be sleeping. We should soon. be sleeping, but it's not sleeping time. It's... it's... In comics, this week in comics, this week in comics, this week in comics, Comics. I'm Tom. Yeah. I'm Cole. I'm Nick. So, what this were your thoughts Comic on a live stream? <laughs> what were your thoughts on the Wordle word of the day today? I didn't do it yet. Should I do oh, it? Oh right man, now? gets me going. <laughs> I was not, I, dude. It felt like it was like a way harder word than it should have been, and it was a lot easier for you than it was for me. Yeah, it came pretty quick to me, but only by one guess. Live stream. I can't even find it. Yeah. I don't care. I lost all. I lost all. I, I stopped caring about Wordle. <laughs> Anyways, well, how, yeah. how how you guys doing? It's been what, like a week or two? One week, specifically. Yeah, exactly. We yeah, missed, we do we this missed, every week. We in missed, comics. I missed last week. We missed this week in comics last week, so it's good to be back. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. I mean, I've been definitely coming down here once or twice a week. <laughs> And talking about comics in front of my, There's I like just assume it's been a going a year's out. worth of vlogs that he's <laughs> yeah, taken, it's, but it's he's like, like, done anything with it. It's, it's like, just Creed thoughts. Yes, Creed thoughts. Yeah. So we, Creed we, thoughts. we gave Nick a word document and said that it's comic burrito. <laughs> like, I yeah, so we talked about that. like you guys were kind of busy, and I was just gonna like run the shit yeah, you for just a while. Run. Yeah, like, I got it. Yeah, you did great, man. You did Thanks. so good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're proud of you, dude. I've seen really some of it, that. and even for comic burrito, it's pretty it's extreme. extreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at one point, I think he said that like tacos are the same thing as burritos. Yeah, and I can definitely. Yeah, not get that's why that. it doesn't. It didn't get posted. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as for my mustache, my daughter asked me to shave my mustache, so I shaved my mustache. It comes and goes. Yeah, it's like the wind. It's like the seasons and the wind. Yes, yeah, so yeah. just you know, seasons you change, know. time goes by. Tomorrow she'll be like, "Daddy, where's your mustache?" No, you she'll know. tell me that I look funny. Yeah, that's oh. why you look weird. Time. Yeah, do you look weird? And she's like, "I bet your coworkers won't even notice who you are." And I'm like, "Well, <laughs> the, adults are a little bit different than so children." It'd be so insulting that you just walk and you're like, "Whoa, sir, sir, sir." They're like, "Sir, sir <laughs> can we help you?" It, yeah, you we don't know who you are. Here. Like, granted, my son, on the other hand, might this be kind of confused. <laughs> they're like that's obviously not you it points to like a badge that has yeah. your face with a mustache on it that's my badge doesn't even have a mustache you. with it <laughs> i had a mustache in the interview and i shaved it on my do you, first day do you dry erase it on for when you have it and t and wipe it off when you're when you shave no you should do that i mean i'll think about it cool 
Well, I'll have Hazel ask you to do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then I probably would do it, I guess. You'll do it. The worst thing is if I do that, I'm just going to get like marker on my pants. Use per well, we use permanent marker and then use acetone to take it off. I technically have a can of acetone, I think. Yeah, you're all set. Perfect. Hey, so what are we, what are we doing this week? Oh, never no. mind. <laughs> Somebody just popped off. I'm assuming he'll come back. <laughs> No, <laughs> he was. It worked. He, he was there. And no, he's not. So uh, not, we have we have half a black cotton <laughs> at the moment. At least. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We still. Now, nope. no, we're, we're back to a full black cotton. Uh, maybe. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying getting to see the backstage. I'm getting to see. Patrick struggle bus with the phone trying to make this work. No one else is getting this entertainment. I'm the only one getting to enjoy it, but uh, which makes for good YouTube content. It's my you reaction of yeah. Patrick getting of something set that up. no one will ever get to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then it's our reaction to now me to reacting. Todd. Yeah, let's. Yeah. You know what? Reacting. Let's bring Brian on to get his reaction Perfect. and your guys' yeah. reaction of my reaction. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Or you know what? We could just. We could just, you know, start talking with them. That works, too. Okay, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> do it. Hey, there what you up? Is. Hello, welcome. <laughs> What's up? What's up, guys? Have you made it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm using me that's late. I just, <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought it was 10. What's up, brothers? <laughs> what is up? Hello and welcome. You, used to that's be traditional we, burrito time. Uh, is 10. So you, we've gotten older and we need to go to bed early. <laughs> so that we can wake up earlier. Oh. Geek yeah. Collective, what's up? What's up? Black cotton. <laughs> Black cotton. <laughs> Hey, yeah, we're older and had to do sh the show one hour early just to yeah. get that one hour. Yeah. I so, oh, hello. Oh, there we go. So, uh, for those of you uninitiated, oh, there we go. Oh, oh that's better. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you guys wrote this this book right here, Volume One. But that's it, right? <laughs> That's all we got. Yeah. <laughs> Volume one, another one. <laughs> I've got it like four different ways. I just grabbed the track. <laughs> Volume two. Mine's in a box. Oh, here. Okay. Well, I, have it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So cool. Very excited. Incredibly excited. I've I've been waiting for this for a while. Yeah. Same. And here. yeah, I I had kind of forgot about the cliffhanger a little bit. <laughs> And I, I reread it and I was instantly upset about all the time because I'm like, I should have been mad this whole time that I didn't upset. Have... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, man, it's, it's been too long. It really has. Yeah. Do you Sorry, wanna... Mage Matt. Yeah, it's okay. You know what? We can get over it if you can tell us what we have to look forward to in this volume. Oh, absolutely. P? It goes crazy. It's crazy in this one. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Uh, so, I mean, we're we're going to pick up uh, a year later, um, and throughout the course of volume two, you'll get bits and pieces of like that in between stage of volume one and volume two. Um, but we're moving the story the story forward. The great thing about volume two will be if you have not read volume one, you could drop you could jump on, on at volume two. Um, because it is a separate story. It continues the yeah. Cotton Saga and continues with the characters, uh, but it is a new story. Um, if you've read Volume 1, it's, it's a huge bonus because little tidbits, little nuances you will get. Uh, but Volume 2 is a year later um, after the events of Volume 1, and we find Zion Cotton. Uh, he is um, a detective now. Boo. <laughs> I don't want this much realism. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll definitely talk about that. And uh, he's working a case um, 
of a slain white teen um and where and where the department is just chalking it up as you know white on, more white on white crime you know he wants to attempt to get justice for the slain white teen meanwhile while her parents are away he is playing you know uh she is <laughs> uh, she, she's attempting to gentrify uh coincidentally the uh, neighborhood that the the low income neighborhood that the young white teen was slain in um and because of the murder there's some problems with that and zion and her end up on opposite sides so that's and the slain kid yeah the slain kid to be uh frank uh you know he's a victim he wasn't doing anything he's uh merely you know uh, i guess you could say wrong place wrong time cross you know the wrong people and tragedy happened which we've seen you know so many times uh happen just you know in our natural life that we live in right now so uh we yeah. keep it you know still on that same level of where uh you can uh draw a correlation between you know the life that we live in now and also the life in the black kind universe yeah he's just what walking home right yep that was yeah, in the yeah, ashcan right he's home. just walking home yeah yeah he's walking his friend home yeah yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah. just why. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. Derek did and we, Trey. Did we add? Huh? What, um, for those not knowing, there is like a kind of a twist to the, the Black Cotton universe yeah. in general. Yes. Um, I guess that we didn't cover that may be confusing to others. I don't know if you want to get into that at all. Oh, or, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a reverse of social order. So uh, uh, what we did in uh, volume one uh, which is very different from volume two because volume one was in black and white. So you actually mm -hmm. didn't even get uh, that uh, uh, realization that, hold up, the black people are actually, you know, the cottons and, you know, the nine gills, they're white. You really didn't even uh, get that until page six or seven. Uh, in the first issue, you get that little light bulb that goes off, which is pretty cool. And we did it in black and white because it wasn't a, a story about color. We wanted you to hone in on the expressions and the words that were being said. Well, volume two is very different simply because it is about color. So it is in color. <laughs> and um and we we uh, take you on that same type of ride, but this time we want you to, you know, uh, definitely uh, take point in the uh, actual, you know, races, the uh, color and everything that is uh, involved in this one. How the cops, you know, act uh, to, you know, minority white people, um, just even how they were talking. To uh, Zion when he's just trying to get information on uh, the kid. So we want you to take in and uh, really go on that ride. Yeah. <clears throat> I was ready to really not like the color. I was too. <laughs> I was so on board to be like, why? But it's it, it's really good. I really enjoyed the ash can and the color and um, it'll be it, and it will be interesting to really see those lines in the sand a little bit easier. And especially with like, if race is being front and center this time, instead of being like a backdrop and more of an interesting, like highlight on the social change, but now it's on the actual like race. Yeah. It's really cool. And it looks great. Awesome. Yeah. It's, it's the same artist, right? Uh, uh, Marco. Yes. This is the same artist, uh, Marcelo. Uh, Santana. So Marco Paragini, same artist as uh, Volume One, mm -hmm. uh, Inside Artwork. Marco Paragini is the uh, colorist uh, on Volume awesome. Two. And huh? You, you said Marco. Oh, dang, dang, Marcelo. Marcelo yeah. Santana. <laughs> yeah, the M's get you every time. You get you every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Marcelo Santana is the colorist, and uh, he did a lot of the covers on uh, volume one. So okay. he's he's been a part of the Black Kind team for a while. Uh, so yeah, yeah. But, well, but, I love, I love when you can keep teams together and, and keep going on the same yeah. story and not have that. And even adding the color, there's still not like a jarring break or anything. It feels comfortable switching right to it. 
Yeah, cool, cool. yeah gonna, same here, same here. Cool. Are we going to be seeing more of the Black Cotton, the BCU elements as well? Because you just talked about who we know already and yeah. who we've had, like Zion and Zed, like the characters from. Are we going to be seeing like the expansion that we saw towards what, like issues four, five, six? Are we going to oh. be seeing some of those elements as well through volume two? Go, go, go ahead and blow his mind, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, black cotton um yeah, yeah 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 for sure um the bcu is definitely expanding um in volume two you know you'll meet new characters um you will get to see the uh the larger scale of of what the what the universe is, is about um where we're going with this is you know we already have in in, in the works um a couple of, of spinoffs yeah um and <laughs> yeah yeah and um and you know and volume two is really going to set that up um uh, especially as you get towards the end of volume two with volume two being um being only four issues so Ooh. so black cotton white and white crime um is is going to be a four issue uh series um and then we're going to transition into um some of the spinoffs, which will also uh, lead into uh, volume three. But even before we get to volume three, those spinoffs, um, very Star Wars like, where you know one of the spinoffs is actually going to be a prequel. Um, and so it's going, to, it's going to fill in some gaps. Um, it's going to introduce uh, some new dynamics, some new family dynamics. Is it a, is it a prequel of like a patriarch? Of the family or a matriarch uh, it, of the family by it, any chance? It, well i mean i don't mind saying it, it's it's um it's going to be a prequel that that deals with the keshinomis and their family dynamic oh, uh, nice, so, nice. So, cool. it, and it's going to be set between um like right like uh it, it's, it's about six to eight years before volume one starts mm -hmm. uh, sweet so can you, you kind of see yeah. what, how that ties into volume one then from there like right yeah their entrance yeah. Sweet. The history starts to come out. Plus, we also have another one that will fill in that year gap. Yeah. You know how we just jumped the year. So we have another spinoff that's going to really, we say a spinoff one shot, I guess you could say, Brian. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's one one shot and in, uh, in we in a the way that we're looking at it is going to be a, like a two-parter. Okay. Um, so one one shot um, that will ha that will happen post volume two, mm -hmm. and one two-part story that will happen um, also post volume two. No, excuse me. That will um, be like between volume one and volume two. Okay. Right. So, like, and that's going to fill in the gap because at the end of uh, volume one, you know, Taz is in the hospital and also Zion gets uh, injured at the riot. Yeah. So that piece, you, you, we skipped over it right now. You don't know what happened to Taz and you don't understand uh, what happened to Zion and how he got from where he was to detective uh, right now. So we'll fill in that gap for you. Plus, introduce you know Taz and his new boo. So you know it's a it's a it, it's a lot you know that we bring out. We've been working hard in the in the background. Uh, we know it's been a long time, uh, and it's only right that we uh, when we start now we keep it coming. I mean, it's also it's the pandemic timeline versus the real world timeline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we talked about that a bit the last time we talked on Level Up, Brian. Where it was, yeah, because you you talked about how the first volume you guys just got to be heads down, yeah, focus completely on it, and now for this time it's like the rest of the world is open back up, and it's just right. harder to just like tunnel vision it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, it's yeah, and you know, and with this one, um, you know, we got to do some of the the structuring of the story and the writing, like you know, in person, like you know, we we've met, you know, we've hung out. And, you know, when we were writing, you know, volume one, it was all like, just like this and over the phone <laughs> and, and going true. back in between Google Docs and so forth and so on. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's definitely new dynamics uh, with how how we 
we have worked on volume two in the spinoffs and how we're continuing to work on them versus how, you know, what we did in volume one. And like you said, the world has, has, has changed. Um, and, you know, the funny thing is like, as we, and we've changed. And so, you know, you'll see uh, the growth of us, you know, in the story as well, you know, as, as as teammates as as partners um and even our our team you know they've grown in what uh you know they're comfortable in doing and you know their artistry so i I, we delayed volume two uh with all the changes you know working uh but i think you know uh we got it to a place where we knew that we wanted to be um and you know what we wanted that story to be and what the next phase will also be after volume two. So awesome. It's good to see I'm you guys don't hate here. each other after that. That'd, that'd be really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> well, we found out we didn't like each other after sitting next to each other and having yeah. to write. It was really <laughs> weird, but you know, you know well, we go a little bit longer. I like you better on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be able to hit a red button and make you go you. away. <laughs> oh yeah. I wish I didn't have to have lunch with you, dang. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, I, here's what I'll say, too. Um, uh, going back to us working uh, behind the scenes and working hard, uh, you heard me mention uh, Black Cotton Universe uh, earlier. Well, that is so much more than Black Cotton. I mean, me and Brian, we delayed black kind but we still worked on other stuff too uh to bring out so the beauty is i don't i don't think the world is ready for what we're about to unfold you know because black kind is just the beginning i mean we got black kind we got remember coming out in june we got uh america's kingdom we got darts we got just ass we've been working hard it is, it is crazy, you know, and Brian, you know, he's always working hard. I mean, shoot, he just, yeah, in the vineyard, what a phenomenal <laughs> series. So, yeah. Thank you. I, 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 I agree. I just got to gush about that a little bit ago with Brian and Vineyard's yeah. incredible. Um, so and then, yeah, I would like to hear more about Remember because along with a little ash can that showed up, there are also these uh, Remember pages <laughs> Yeah, that came along with it. <laughs> I would love to hear more about that. Oh, <laughs> remember uh, something, you know, I, I got to give credit to uh, Brian. Uh, you know, he's been my mentor from the start and uh, my teacher. And he kept telling me, I told him uh, I had an idea for a comic book, and he, he told me, he said, hey, let that be your first one coming out solo, you know, he said, and I'll be the editor. And I was like, okay, cool. So last year, I, you know, under his mentorship, I wrote down everything, and uh, we brought on Damien uh, Bechtel, uh phenomenal writer. Yes. Got Marcelo Santana as the artist. And remember, I'm telling you, it's a thing of beauty with, you know, uh, Brian being the editor and Zamora, uh, uh, Francisco Zamora being the letterer. So we still got the whole Black Kind team uh, on it. But that's going to be the first uh, the first uh, graphic novel to come out under the Black Kind Universe, you know, label. Nice. It's a crime thriller. And, and I know y'all saw the pages. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is intense. It is a true revenge story. And uh, it's one of those stories where you really don't figure everything out until the end. When there's this one pen that drops and you're like, oh, snap, you know? <laughs> so so uh, we're, we're, we're really, really looking forward to bring and remember to the world. It's a, a all female, well, it's not all female, uh, you know, story, but the uh, main characters are uh, females. The killer is a female. Uh, the two cops are females and the villain is a female. So they go crazy. <laughs> <laughs>
and that <clears throat> that's being delivered as a as a full graphic novel you said yeah you? yep cool. yeah we wanted to get the uh whole book out and to be honest uh it started out as one book uh we were just gonna do remember but then <laughs> it just a hey, through questions us talking Brian asked a couple of questions. Uh, Damon asked a couple of questions. And next thing you know, it's going to be a three book series. So we got Remember coming out this June. Damien is already in the process of writing Remember the Sack Man, which is the second book. And then uh, Remember the End is the third book. And they all, uh, when you get to the end, it wraps you back around to the first page in uh, the first book. That's awesome. nice. I love stuff. But like each that. story can stand alone. <laughs> I mean, good good stories are great, but then when you can kind of use the medium to kind of do stuff like that, it's always really cool. So mm -hmm. I'm excited yeah. to, to get into that. Although how that's three books, so how long is that going to take to to um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> book two? So probably 2025. Okay. No, 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 no. no probably come out next year. Like Next oh, year for, not, for next year? Yeah, oh, book nice two will come out next year. Yeah. Like you said, as soon as it starts rolling, it's rolling, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so I'm I'm gonna tell you after the Take first this one, you're gonna be like opinion right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure <Yeah>. it is. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it's a little better if it's spread out, at least on, on my pocketbook. Ah. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> yeah. Like so the first one's 74 pages. Um and it simply is about basically you have uh, the two female cops. Uh, the main character is uh, Helena, and they're trying to solve these murders that are happening to this one family. And it seems like they're always a step behind. Now, the key is Helena, you find out that she's actually uh, kin to the same family that is being murdered. So uh, she's, you know, I guess you could say personally involved in trying to, you know, solve these cases. And then you have uh, the killer who is uh, doing the murders, but it's all through letters. Cool. So the killer will receive a letter and then, you know, somebody's going to die. I like me yeah. some horror, some thriller, some mystery. Yeah, it's it's, it's really and a little pop drama, right? Yeah, crime. That's right. It's it's crime, horror, thriller, and um, it's so it's kind of like True Detective. <laughs> a little bit of that in there. It got a little bit of yeah, that. Yeah. Bit of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love me. I love I love some first season. Yeah, True oh. yeah, that's as good as yeah, the it. other one. That was terrible. Really. No, they weren't bad, but it, first yeah. season it's, was. It's just, just I don't hard. Know made it through the second season even and I then, didn't. no I, I didn't and then i heard there's like a third or even fourth or something yeah the third one right. had, uh the guy cool. that's supposed to be blade yeah yeah and that they're supposed to be doing a fourth one, I think. wesley snipes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. really he's in season four <laughs> season four wesley snipes would be so into it <laughs> i'm watching that for sure <laughs> so i know the geek collective mentioned that, that this book is dropping on their under them what exactly does that like mean? I guess I have no idea what that means. So I figure other people probably in the audience are pretty unsure too. So it's gonna be uh, we, it's gonna be put out just like uh, Black Kind to the public uh, through Kickstarter first. I wanted to get it out to the people uh, just like we're doing with Black Kind. We want to get it out to the fans first. We want them to be able to touch it, read it, and get all of it. Uh, first before we run it through any stores. So that's what uh, Geek Collective, we teamed up with uh, Joey, and uh, Joey's doing a phenomenal job uh, killing it. So you're going to see a series of our books come through uh, Kickstarter through Geek Collective. Sweet. That's in their print? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Good. They're, but, uh, they're gonna ink each one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're really expensive. <laughs> they're <very> expensive. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, this was uh, some of Marcelo, 
uh, Marcelo Santana's uh, greatest work. When you see Remember, and when you see some That's of good. the covers that he's done for uh, Black Cotton, he's doing a special. I can't. I can't even. We we can't even say it right now. We gotta wait uh, because it's just that hot and that secret. But he's doing a, a variant that is gonna blow. Oh man, it's gonna blow so many people's minds, and everybody's gonna want it. It, it, it's phenomenal, but I can't. I can't tell you what it is. I can't tell you. Brian I said, do. "Said no." no. Brian said no. <laughs> but like, we'll if you were going to explain it, yeah. okay, how we'll, would you explain it? Yeah, wait, hold to on. Us? <laughs> well, they're not, not, not live GP, now. They're we not just... Chat GPT. You can't get around the problem. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little live thing. The thing but if we weren't live. live means- and alive. you could say it. What would you? <laughs> oh man! We'll talk oh, after man. the show. <laughs> <laughs> there Here, will be me, only. I will. Other. I'm going to end the stream now. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. everybody. <laughs> All, right. All right, cool. We're offline now. Let's We're talk about this cover. now for sure. <laughs> it, it, it will definitely be something that I think I almost know that. You know, if you're a comic book fan, if you're you're gonna if want you're it. The, if you're in the pop culture period, you're Ooh. going to want Wesley Snipes want cover it. confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there only but there's only gonna be a limited amount of them. Oh no. And, it, and it's something that we're not even putting on the Kickstarter immediately. So Ooh. something that's going to Ooh. show up. You're gonna have very, to be like, get it, and then you can get the notification at, at a very at, yeah. yep, at a very specific time. Um yeah. I'm going to miss it. I'm yeah, so I am, bad at I'm that. so sad. I will, now. That I will message you personally. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you because I will not get that. <laughs> if I can just give you money now, I don't have to worry Let about me just it. Get, here is like $35. I'm assuming that will be roughly the right amount. <laughs> yeah. <for us> <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think, Brian? Sometime around May? Yeah, nice. it's, it's, oh, it's oh, going to be in May. Coming, oh, that's real close. It probably so the the Kickstarter course is this Thursday, but this cover is going to drop. It's a in, burrito cover in the first week. <laughs> in, in the Finally. first week, of May, for sure. Sweet. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So it's not it's not a long it's not a long wait. It's no, no volume one to volume two of Black Cat. No, 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 no. It's nah, nah. It's a week. It's a week's wait. It's no but, me waiting for Vineyard Volume Two. Oh man, no, it's not that, and we're still waiting. I know. <laughs> the trade comes out. When's Volume Two? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no. I mean, I would, you know, if yeah. I would love for Volume Two to oh, happen. Oh, for sure. We'll see. Me too. <laughs> Yeah. I've we'll only heard really good things about that book. Like everybody that I hear really talk about it good. is like, bam! I still have to get to it. Yeah. I read, I got number one, but Thank you. It's, it's really, I need it's, to. It's really good. I, yeah, I would say know. the only thing that really was bad about it is that there was the random delay from aftershock yeah, that, throughout the time sucks. and then i remember dming you like hey is this book gonna finish oh, when i got like, the last I, one i was like because <laughs> yeah i just remember like getting like i forget because it was after like issue two i think there was like a, mm-hmm. it yeah. just kept getting three back. was the one that took forever yeah and three i know months. that there was that uh there Ooh. was that john lee had a book come out yep. that yep. never came out and i don't think maybe yeah, it did I, and i, I just missed no, it yeah right the nasty no, it's called no, like the Nasty was from Ride. Vault. Yeah, the John Lee's one didn't come out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the Nasty from phone. Vault is very good. It's very I good. good. I haven't gotten yet, but I heard it was good. Oh. It's yeah, really you'll good. definitely it's really like good. it. You, oh, you'll you're love like it. horror movie background mm-hmm. fan stuff, it's which is really amazing. weird because I even like was listening to a horror podcast and they mentioned the video oh. Nasties, and I never oh, even nice. really knew that was a yeah. thing until reading that oh. issue. That's cool. Mm. But yeah, there's a, just... there's a syndrome or uh uh not a syndrome. It's a, there's a there's there a it is. A, uh, hey, the nasty. Oh yeah, I have it in my bag because I I occasionally is that the when B I cover it better not be. Oh okay. No, that's the cover. I I have two covers. <laughs> when I have when I have one that I really really like, then I I put it back in my bag for reread. Nice. It takes weeks sometimes, but it's it's still in there. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice. But really- I'm gonna have to set that one up. Have y'all read uh, "Where Monsters Lie"? Oh yeah. Hey. 
I have not, I have not. That's the yeah, one I that has the those crazy covers. good covers. Uh, yeah. That I didn't ever pick up, but I love the covers of that series. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, that's what made me uh, pick it up. <laughs> what well, was like? Yeah, I was surprised. I was like, oh man, I should have been buying these. <laughs> you guys, are we just talking? To... Are we in this week in comics now? Have we just? Are, have we? Are we going to start talking about just comics? <laughs> just segue right into it. I mean, I've loosely only read <laughs> trades in the last like that few works. months. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless there's anything else that you really want anyone to know about. Black I'm trying not to dig too hard because we're like at Ashcan right now. We're not right. even like issue yeah. one, so I don't want to like. Pick can people get the Ashcan yet? I'm pretty sure out? I can get Patrick to tell me how issue four is. If oh, I that, know. <laughs> the Ashcan is not is not available. So the interesting thing with um, oh yeah yeah only a select few people have the Ashcan. Media <laughs> mostly. I'm gonna um, print but, it out on my printer and have you uh, printed you. one. <laughs> then you too. Then you too. Um, so well, the interesting thing is, fourteen dollars, but yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> because we're doing it independently uh, with Kickstarter crowdfunding, not through Scout. Initially, there are regulations uh, and requirements because Scout is our publisher of how we um, do ash cans, how we uh, let material out. So the ash can, you know, it, it cannot actually be for sale like through us. Gotcha. Um, and uh, and of course it cannot carry the scout the scout logo. Yeah. Uh, so there's certain certain hurdles and certain you can't stop yeah. me from putting it on my home printed version. <laughs> you can, you cannot. We cannot and they cannot. You're absolutely right. I hope somebody's <laughs> at your door like tomorrow, like Dave. <laughs> the scout <laughs> just shows up. What the heck, James? Movie, Why like, are you here? Yeah. It's like, yeah, would you like to give it to me, Todd? Todd, hand it over. Yeah, they're like, no. give it. Give no. it. <laughs> we heard you had uh, uh, un <laughs> unsolicited black cotton. Let us have the Shut up. Well, I saw that uh, Scout like is coming it. to the uh, Capital City Comic Con in Lansing. So, hey, maybe oh, wait, what? maybe there will be a drop by. Oh, Scout is? Yeah. I think you said Black Cotton. I got no, excited. I said I was Scout like, is. You guys are coming up to Michigan? One day, one I was so, oh, I was so excited. <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe next year. Yeah. You should go to yeah. Grand Rapids Comic Con. It's the best con that happens in Michigan. Do the it's one the that's Grand actually con. in Grand Rapids, yeah. though. That happens in the city of Grand Rapids, for yes. sure. We can like There's say that. Two without... Grand Rapids Comic Cons, and one happens not in Grand Rapids. No, it's like one an hour away. Happens in well, Grand Rapids is the good one. <laughs> so the way that it used to be is they were in two different places, and they yeah. blew up the second place. Yeah, well, it, they, they didn't. Can't, it can't but... handle it. Yeah, so they ended up. Uh, yeah, they it, it was a road trip <laughs> this year. Like... We don't even know. Next year, it might still be there. They do. That's they true. do like a spring and a fall one. Yeah. Okay. You want the fall? You want the yeah. fall? The fall one. Okay, the one that's actually in Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. Yes, right in its there. namesake. Mm -hmm. And I love going that to other one New York Comic Con in uh, Hartford, Massachusetts. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's my favorite <laughs> Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down. Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, that would be, that'd be great I to have you guys I'm, up here, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be cool. Yeah, you know, I mean, since the world is, is is more open now, you know, we definitely yeah. want to, you know, and that's one of the things that we want to do with, um, like the whole, like the whole BCU brand is, you know, is is expand the brand, but also expand our, our presence with the brand as well, which is, you know, part of why you know we're connected to geek collective and how you know the bc present books will come out through them in the independent fashion of kickstarter you know it's 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 really about and it was something that p and i decide decided you know to you know how do we want to expand the story expand the universe and expand the brand yeah you know and it's all kind of you know we're just at that kind of perfect point in place of really the jump off of, of, of making it happen and the kickstarter is that first thing and awesome uh, yeah. it's bc presents uh, is that BC, what i heard from BC, that? BCU. bcu presents yeah right. now, i believe joey i know joey's on here joey, joey do you have is he able to put images into the chat no if he no. sends it to me no. i can put it up all right Hey, so Joey, if you're still on, 
throw up the remember says yo yo you yep. <laughs> <laughs> throw up the remember logo i mean the remember um the re the re remember cover i think uh i sent you the ash can yeah it should be there i think it was on there because i just no no right. not send me info i'll get it out like send it to can't you message it to todd is the well, cover? I think it's yeah. on there, and it does have that little logo because I I noticed it when I was reading it on my tablet. That now I have no idea where my tablet is. Oh, wait, on the black cotton ash can? No, uh, it's no, on, it's on the remembrance. On the remember our, ash can. Yeah. Where? It's in I our don't see it. I don't see it with a logo. I mean, I got remember pages. Actually, you know, I can just the the interior art. You're talking about uh, which uh, logo? The Geek Collective. Oh, I have it by date modified because I was working on weird. stuff. Let me just organize this like a normal human would, and I might be able to get to pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah it should be yeah, on the I first day. Yeah, I you yesterday. <laughs> okay, Todd, I'll send it to you. Okay. That looks cool. Yeah, no. So I guess, too, I mean, Ooh. when you're kind of like right, working Can we show on... this whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> And here's the last page. No. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, why I think did you these send us volume usually... three? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That was gonna really get us now. Uh, oh man! There's a boop. There you go. Oh, there it is. There so, it is. And we all cover so, the Geek Collective, right? So Park. the Beast <laughs> presents. So each each book that is not a black cotton storybook um will have the bcu presents if it's a if if it's a non-black cotton storybook that's coming out through the bcu presents brand um it will carry that logo so remember it isn't a part of the the continuity of black cotton story but it's the first bcu presents book yeah bcu okay black cotton universe sweet i get as you like kind of expand these, are you getting a bunch of new writers maybe to come in and work on some of this stuff too? Funny you say that. <laughs> um, Damien is actually our first, I guess you could say, hire. Um, Patrick's first hire, BCU Brands overall first hire. Um, and you know, he uh he's you know, he's on the Remember series, the Remember franchise series. Um, and I will I will. We can say this, right, Pete? And yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can say anything. He, yeah, yeah, okay, go for it. Definitely go. go for it. Yeah. He will also um, be our, our, the first writer to write some black cotton. That's not. Ooh. Whoa. He will be Whoa. on. He will be one on the spinoffs. Hey. So. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah, he's, is he handling. Is he handling the twins? How do you know? Yeah, yeah, I do know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Brian's only gonna let someone do a one shot to start off with. <laughs> There's no way you can. They're getting you can do one. one. Shot. You can do one. You get one issue. It better be good, <laughs> but not better than ours. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it better be good, but not too good. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like stay in the lane of like just not bad. Like Brian edits it and puts like that's not where a comma should be. <laughs> it's, like you know, Brian actually, it's like you're over and, my shoulder watching. Yeah, hey, when there. Brian edits, even though it's on the computer, he still uses the red. He 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 <laughs> takes it and <laughs> changes the color to red. Prints it out, scrolls uh, it out in red, and scans it back in. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's right. No, but seriously, like shot. <laughs> Shout out to Damien. Like I, you know, I got to work with him, um, you know, when he won the talent search uh, for Mad Cave. And yeah. like, I was just blown away by his script then, you know, when I got to read the script, I didn't get to judge, but when like he, after he won and I read his script, I'm like, oh, like his script for Nottingham, that story he did, I'm like, this is phenomenal. And so um, I like, I, I'm like, this guy right here, you know he's gifted, and I and I don't use that word lightly. Like he is really gifted. He's a gifted. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, you know, he. If we're doing any type of spinoff, any type of expansion, I'm like, yo, P. He has to be like, it has to happen. And so, when 
Pat brought remember, like, here's what he's going to do. But remember, I'm like, got to be Damien. It has to be Damien. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, he worked with Damien, and they just knocked it he out. killed it. Yeah. And so, you know, I have full confidence, you know, with what with what he's going to do um, with the Keshinomi story, which uh, it's a working title. But Patrick and I was thinking it, 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 for right now, it's um, BCU. It will be BCU Presents, though. Okay. Um, but it's within the continuity. It's um, Keshinomi Seeds. Hmm. So, um yeah, it's going to be a special, nice. I think. With cool. him with him scripting and you know, it's gonna be special. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, it really is. But that's just the beginning. I miss that. We still is. got volume three that we've already mapped out. We still yeah, got how, how does that end, Patrick? Oh, that... <laughs> who was that again? The the killer was uh hey, hey. you said it was uh... it ends with the big O. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> he actually told you how it he actually told you. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but he did tell you. But he said it. <laughs> hey, hey Travis. 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 Yeah. So hey, I, hey, when 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 they read it, they're gonna be like. That's who what he was That's talking about. O. That's the big O. So oh. now everything is just gonna like oh is the letter O in this? <laughs> the, the, the killer is yeah. the letter O. I mean the just big like, O. <laughs> is this the big O? No, that's yeah. a little O. That's a little O. <laughs> One of my favorite animes of all time. Hmm? Naruto. The big o. No, the big O. Isn't that what it was? I... Or Big O was the mech mech's name? It was something on Toonami that I really oh, enjoyed. Wow. It was like hmm. a, it was like uh, yeah, it's a mecha anime television yeah, it's called series. Big O, right? Yeah, the uh, bi- yeah. the Big O, the Big O. Yeah, it was like <laughs> some this. like Bruce Wayne anime. Yeah, yeah. He's like some like it's like an anime Bruce Wayne who's really angsty, but he has like oh dude, and a he mech. even has like an Alfred that has an <laughs> yeah. eye patch. Yeah, no. <laughs> also, he's like, eating a tomato. Yes. Nice. Oh, this all, that, this all checks out. It's really good, <laughs> and it was like Dragon Ball Z and the Big O for me. For oh yeah, because that was what was on Toonami. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Cartoon yep. Network. Came out in 1999. The day yeah, yeah, Japanese birthday. anime. Wow. Yeah. This checks out. Hey, yeah, it's so. a 7.5 too. I'm gonna have to look that up. It's pretty good. Wow. Says it's teenage only streaming child. on high dive. Well, it's only streaming. Who on doesn't high dive. have a high dive subscription? Yeah, I yeah. I mean, who does? I mean, I think we're, we're going to have to do some type of like homage cover now. Yes, obviously. <laughs> I, think yes. Four, I think they have four or five new subscribers. To. Zion's <laughs> looking all angsty, eating a tomato <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with a big mech next to him. Can the mech have a burrito oh. in his hands since it all yes. happened here? Yeah, he's eating a tomato. The mech is eating a big burrito. <laughs> Yo, y'all got to be on the lookout for um, we actually doing uh, some hip hop covers this <sighs> time. Oh, yeah. So, awesome. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Please, yeah, please yeah. expand upon that. And which hip hop yeah. are you uh, uh, homaging? <laughs> you, like, give us a few yeah. album uh, Which, which yeah, albums like, are you what? doing? And is it for every issue? Which issues? Uh, I'll, yeah, I'm I need to, know, to three... I do need to know if it's every issue because then I need to pull. You're talking to those. three very white guys who are very oh. into that. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you one of each, meaning. Oh, one okay. of uh, the black kind that's going to be a black kind hip hop cover. And okay. one that's gonna be a remember cover. The, the killer is. Yeah. I want run the cotton right. real bad. So <laughs> NWA. Ooh, okay. Which one is it? Uh, is it straight out of cotton? Straight out of cotton. It's right there. It's straight right out of cotton. Yeah. It's right there. No, no, no. It's gonna it's be right called. Uh, hey, hey, straight out of cotton. That's funny. Uh, it's gonna be called uh, BWA. Rewrites going instead of NWA. BWA. <laughs> BWA straight out of cotton. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And that was for uh, Black Cotton. Uh, Amazing. Now for Remember, it's gonna be Ice Cube. Nice. Uh, the uh, Lethal Injection oh. cover. Oh. Yeah. And uh, the right. artist for that one is uh, Amy Good. Nice. 
Yeah, awesome. yeah. I wanted to, you know, with the uh, female, you know, cast, mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to get a female artist and, you know, someone who knock it out the park. And I'm going to tell you, she knocked it out the freaking park. And uh, that uh, BWA cover is going to be crazy. <laughs> is it going to be on the Kickstarter? But, but, but No, 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 no. Uh, what does the BWA stand for, right? Right? BWA, NWA. Mm. What was the word? I don't, uh, don't want to uh, get it. Volume one. <laughs> See, it's been like two years, guys. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Who said it? Private chat. There you go. Cole's got it, and he's not even saying it. Cole got it. <laughs> I just Black assumed Cat. it was Black Oh, Cat. <laughs> That yeah. makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Cole doesn't want to say it. He's just private chatting it. That's, <laughs> that's fair, though, I think. Well, well, I might say it in a way that, like, comes off weird, and then people will get mad. It's not even It's made up. It's a made up word. You said it wrong. <laughs> you made pretend. You made pretend wrong. <laughs> that word has actually taken over the connotation of the N word. Yeah. <laughs> the B <Okay>. word. <laughs> the B word. Don't worry about it. My mom has been saying for years I can't say the B word. Yeah. So. That's funny. Oh, man. I can't believe he said that. That's hilarious. <laughs> People, I can see it right now. He said it all yeah, of a sudden. Just a barrage of comments come in. Where oh, you can't read? <laughs> it's true because that's funny. I wonder because my brain literally forgot that. Mine did. It's, it's and I like just my read brain. It. I was like, I literally went through this book, completely <laughs> forgot it. I think it's because my brain's like, you can't latch onto that. I get, <laughs> it, in this universe, you could. But in our yeah, universe, you're thing, not allowed right? to latch on to that. It's the same reason when you say black cotton, I'm like, I'm not going to say black cotton back because that's white power. And I do not feel comfortable saying that because it makes me feel icky. I say it back because Brian said we could. Black cotton, yes, you can say that. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying, I, oh, I'm all pass. for Nick saying it. And I don't think it's actually <laughs> offensive. I don't like saying it because I get two in the world and it makes me feel icky. <laughs> <laughs> just for the cotton. Just, just for the cotton. Oh, can I can I just oh, say BC and be one of the gang, please? <laughs> no, no. no, you have to go yeah. all in. I don't want to go all in. <laughs> How's yeah. this? If you rip yeah, we, the we're not BC here. <laughs> what do you say, Cole? I said if he rips one of the sleeves off of his shirt, with, he doesn't have to say it. And he can be part of the gang. It's too well made. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let me grab some scissors. Hilarious. I have been needing oh, a new man. half sweater vest. So. Yeah, the Bill Belichick style is <laughs> yes. in all the time. Yes. <laughs> Never goes out of style. <laughs> you know, I take fashion advice from football we coaches have to put always. Yeah. Hey, Brian, we're going to have to put that in black guy where there's just a whole done conversation. Like around random. that, you know, the B word. <laughs> the B word. If you could use our is that would be great. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the comic taco talking about, can we yes. say this? Yeah. Yeah. It's obviously, like, I yes. say it all the time. Zion's <laughs> listening like, to a uh, podcast if we and we're discussing with, it. <laughs> yeah. If we go with what we're, what we're talking about volume four title being, that would fit perfectly. Oh. Perfect. Oh, no! Oh, no! no, Patrick uh, doesn't like that. Idea. Yeah, Patrick's gone. gone. He's I like, you know what? Nope. While he's gone, I can tell y'all what the volume four title is. Oh, yeah, quick. <laughs> is he coming back? Is he coming back? Uh, so we're, we're talking about it being um, Black Cotton um, and the exegesis of the critical race theory. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So it's it's a hefty title. Yeah, I'll be shortening it some, but it's going to have something to do with the critical race theory. Well, wasn't um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I can. I think I literally have it up. Wasn't volume two also? Yes. Oh, it, it was, was also long because be, it it was white on white crime, white, crime. white genocide, or something so like that. It was going to be white on white crime and the plight of gentrification. 
Yes. So uh, what we ended up doing was uh, we split it off because volume two was going to be a full like 12 issues. So we re we restructured everything. So volume two became white on white crime and volume three became the plight of gentrification. You just got it. Yeah. Because the last time you were on, I very quickly, literally while we were going, because you were starting, you you were like, okay, we'll tell you what volume two is called. Yeah. I made this real quick while we yep. were just like running. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Yep. And so, so volume two and volume three. Cool. Yeah. So we got a sneak yeah. peek and we didn't even know. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's cool. And speaking of sneak peeks, I think we we're going to talk about this cover that's coming out sometime. Yeah, in yeah, May. yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> um, I, I wish hey, we could... it in. that Jenny Frizen that you got coming out uh, in May, right? Or the uh, the 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 uh, Mac cover? Man, I'm really excited for that. David <laughs> David Nakayama. Yes. Oh my goodness. Well, Yo, know, this cover. Oh, what? Well, hey, here's what I will Lemire say. Jeff cover is going to be dope. <laughs> he, he, here's what we can say, Brian. It will be coming out in May, <laughs> and it will be a wraparound. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's, that's a wrap. the wrap from earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was burrito it's related, but apparently, I know, okay. it was. Oh, I didn't think it was, but I was like, it's really funny that they're using it rap because we say rap a lot. It's <laughs> oh yeah, man, wow. it's gonna be. I wish, you say more, though. I wish you could, but I mean, yeah. it's all right. We don't have to wait too long, at least. No, 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 There's no, 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 no. no. And you have to save something for like when you yeah. get it. Yeah. <laughs> when people are being hem hawing about it, you got to be like, well, you have three days to get this cover, so you better just friggin' pledge. You filthy animals. That's <laughs> how you talk to people, right? That's why I have a lot of followers on things. Yeah. <laughs> I hate jerk. Do this. Hey, you idiot. <laughs> Here's what we can do. Hey, stupid. Start over. Yeah. What do you think, Brian? You're a idiot, yeah. We will send them huh? uh, a picture the same day that we're going to release the news that morning. Perfect. So they will I, know. Cool. You know Perfect. We did it early. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it'll make and it feel I, special. I, I'll, and... I'll probably get it then. Yeah, <laughs> Dodd will get it after you actually release the note. Yes, <laughs> <that's> perfect. <laughs> I can do it right now as I'm thinking about it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely work. That that's definitely... my attention because span. It needs to be right in front of me. <laughs> the plan is that it's really going to be. Um, we're actually going to kind of debut it the night, the night leading into that, that Sweet. specific day. But it's only going to be a day drop. One day. Oh, and it's, so it's very... like a pizza detective. It's like a pizza detective. <laughs> <laughs> They're pulling a pizza detective. <laughs> it was a bad oh, idea book that Robert Vendetti did. Pizza yeah. detective. That only had one day that you could buy it. And it was like 25 cents or it was maybe a yeah. dollar. It was really yeah. weird. and But it was the up. sequel. It was the, the pizza detective number two, right? No, it was number one. I think it was number, number, number one. two. I was a backup one, story. Yeah, yeah, that was only released for twenty four hours. Oh wow! You had to go to the, and then they. I got it. They pulled well, the shot. It was only to destroy to all the other covers. Oh wow! Wow! Like if you didn't sell it, just Man, destroy that's it. Really stupid. <laughs> that's pretty bold. That's We're not bad idea. Yeah, because you guys are just doing pre orders, <laughs> and then you print however many are sold i'm assuming not yeah well we yeah. made 500 but only 450 did let's shred the other 50 <laughs> <You're whatever. laughs> i don't like it honestly i just don't like it i mean robert me, Benetti, me, like, uh... went to 25 shops selling get delivering pizza to the employees hmm. really yeah just like your day pizza. job though wow <laughs> yeah okay all right just doing everybody's got to have a day job you and then he's busy I think he was talking about which pizza. He's like, I've eaten so much pizza today. And like, I think he said Marco's is the best like chain restaurant pizza in his personal opinion. Oh, I've wow. I've never had whatever. That you know what? I, also have it. I don't think I've ever had Marco's. Yeah. Well, obviously, five out of five people say 
It's we haven't had pizza it. Place. <laughs> I also think my favorite chain pizza would probably be Papa John's. I would Mine be is Pizza Hut. Ooh, pizza Hut, nice. yeah. Mine I don't would like probably the... be. Oh yeah, Pizza Hut. I don't. Mine like would be Pizza Jets. Huh? Really? Jet Jets Pizza would be my favorite. Oh, chain. Wow. I'd probably or Hungry Howie's. Caesar. I do like Hungry Howie's. I changed my mind. Hungry Howie's. Hungry Howie's is probably what I would end up if I had like a. Where's that time. at? Hungry. Oh, you guys Everywhere. don't have Hungry Howie's? No. They got the flavor. No. Oh, they got all the flavor crust, and you can put a ton of flavors on it. Like I get butter cheese, Cajun, and garlic crust. Yeah, it's wow. and it's amazing because yeah. they just like is that underneath. all together or? Yeah, it goes like under the crust. It's like they coat all of the crust in it. Wow. And wow. then you get like good toppings good cheese too and everything and then their yeah, cheese right. bread is great <laughs> and then it's not very expensive it's okay you have to have like, one near you it's like little caesar's money. never heard of it it's never little caesar's money it. too on top of it which is great like wow. it's, it's called hungry howie. what hungry, hungry howie's. howie's wow hungry howie's howie yeah. That, well, I can I business can opportunity. You. you guys can start a franchise. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that as far as like Virginia, like Virginia and going south, that does not exist. It's south. a demarcation line. Oh, you, it you're might in be a where Michigan all, only like, thing. Yeah, no way. Really. Oh, yeah. Because I was say there's a lot of things that the Mason Dixon line also cuts off. I'm oh, like, right. There's a lot of like things alcohol. that are like there's a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things that are south and north and not like, but it's only in Michigan. It might be. Wow. No. Oh, the whole, no. The rest of the country is weird. Weird. just yeah. deprived. That's so sad. Oh, look at <laughs> it. It's oh no. Michigan not and Florida. Florida. Ugh, it's mostly Florida and us. Is it Florida? I Ugh. didn't. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So don't go south for Hungry Howies. Go north for Hungry and it's in, Howies. And it's in Arizona. <laughs> and, Ari and Arizona. <laughs> A little bit of in Arizona, of course. A little bit over there. Oh yeah, yeah. a little bit. There's yeah, a in a little, a little California. But look That's at how cool. dense. Also, this how long robot... have they been around? <laughs> Watch out for this robot. <laughs> There's the a robot. Of... <laughs> the plain states are actually one <laughs> giant robot. <laughs> I think the first one here came about 20 years ago, maybe. Really? Dang. That I remember. Oh, I can't one remember it. I don't wow. remember a time before Hungry Howies. Hungry there Howies. was okay. me, right there. and then Hungry Howies have just been around. It's great. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Anyways, we should go another yeah. five to ten minutes on Hungry Howies. It's, I would say it's amazing. Like it's not worth a pilgrimage for. But... Oh no 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 no. But when you guys come up for Grand Rapids Comic Con, that's one of the things we'll have to yeah. hit up. Yeah yeah yeah. We we'll actually get together then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring we'll bring the Howies. Yes, All right. we'll, we'll I'll bring, I'll bring the Howie. bourbon. You travel oh, perfect. How is you, you travel hundreds of miles. We'll spot the pizza. We'll, we'll get a ten dollar pizza. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully, you're okay with just cheese. We're yeah, not getting toppings. We can't get toppings. No, Let's not get crazy. No, come on. It's now. only Virginia. <laughs> Let's come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, uh, yeah. hey, you know what? On that special cover that we're dropping in May. I think I can talk Brian into a four day, Ooh. you know, uh, release. Four days, wow. you know. So it gives that me so way, much time to procrastinate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't give him too long. <laughs> yeah, because then I'll forget about it. Like, well, no, I can he's, just do that. In Patrick's got to say four so he can work it down to three. It's <laughs> negotiating <laughs> ta <laughs> tactics. <laughs> I'm trying to work with the people, you know. It might be a <laughs> rock paper scissors right? situation. Yeah. How about you run it right? sixty <laughs> hours, two just, and a half days? Just run it until Todd backs. Be like, there we you go. go. <laughs> you have until Todd, Todd does it backs. immediately. But and yeah, we Brian all don't texts get me. It. He's like, "Hey, it's out," and I just go, "Oh, okay, cool," and it's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Only drop one. Yeah, I got the oh, man. That's worth <laughs> all of a sudden. You know, I like this idea. I, I'm gonna get two of them when I do it, <laughs> and then one of them I'm keeping. The other one I'm gonna make a pretty penny. <laughs> or you're gonna make me a Nick from, fight shirt. Let's me. It. Yes. Or from it'll be me. a it'll be Nick and it's, Cole Jello wrestling for it. Yeah. In a hungry <laughs> alley parking lot. Yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't know which one. I like the most yet. Ooh. This one or the hip hop one. Both of them is just, you know. But hip hop's going to come out with a publisher? 
Is, is what you're saying? It won't be a Probably. Kickstarter one. It'll be a published right. one. So when I buy it for the third time, <laughs> I can get the I can get the BWA cover. Yeah, and it's okay because I already have two other versions of. I it. mean, I mean, to be honest with you, we. I mean. The BWA is going to have to be approved. Probably, I hope Scout that approves it. Makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. No, does, <laughs> ha, Scout does all those VHS ones. Mm -hmm. Hip hop covers are way better. VHS ones are super cool. But mm -hmm. every time I see a hip hop cover, I'm usually like, "Well, this is a way I'm going to spend more money yes. on something I don't right. need." Yeah. <laughs> well, and the VHS ones are like uh, incentive covers. Yeah, they're usually. like one in fifteen. So it's like usually you don't stuff. even see them at the store. Yeah. I know when there was that one dude coming into our shop that Nick gave a nickname to. Um, Spec Dick? Yep. Uh, <laughs> he used to always be like, do you guys have any of, the, do you guys have any of those uh, VHS <sighs> scout comics? And they're like, nope. No. <laughs> you know how many we have to order for that? Ten. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. wow. <clears throat> they had action tanks is the only one I've ever seen. I got canceled. It was I got the canceled one, but that's because Don was really nice because I was like, "Hey, I did the cover for this, and I would really like the variant." And he's like, "Okay." And then the, he got way more canceled than he probably would have because he's a really nice guy and got yes. me the variant. Oh, wow. But cancels actually a it's a good it's mm -hmm. a good series too. I agree, you know? and I'm yeah. super biased. <laughs> <laughs> super biased, but it yeah. is really good. It I, really I, is. He, I read it before I was asked to do the logo and had already been like, this is really cool. And then he was like, hey, you want to do a logo? And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Only have you read it's really uh, good. the new one coming out? I Canceled have. too? Oh, I man. have read it because I had to do a, a logo for it. And yeah, yeah. That's basically man. what I trade in is just like, <laughs> give me information. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> trade in information. Yeah. Hey, See, if you had did our logo, then... I know, know, right? Well, if I knew you guys were going to be doing wow. BCU Presents and BC Previews <laughs> and here's an ash can, I'd have been like, hey, I can make... I can turn this font that you already have picked out <laughs> into a logo. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Going forward. You got it. And then I would send you a sticker. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> My designs come with stickers. Oh. That's that's my selling oh, my. point. <laughs> that works. I'm sold. A sticker? Wow. Yes. You hey. got a sticker from the other guy, right? Not me. No. Yeah. yeah. No stickers. Just saying. Just saying. Did you, did you get a golden missing? burrito from this other guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> didn't know. Didn't know we're missing out. See? Just saying. <laughs> so hold on. Just for the record, oh, uh, when do y'all okay. awards go again? <laughs> Uh, well, technically, they happened in our own brains this yes. year. Yes. Uh, uh, none of the hiatus. results have been posted. Yep. I don't even, at this point, I I think forgot. at some point, we'll probably all be drunk one night and be like, hey, should we get on and just do a live Golden Burritos? <laughs> and we'll be like, yeah, let's do it. And I'll just be like, we'll just nominate stuff that like, like you know what? I think that Criminal yeah. should win Best Golden Burrito <laughs> yep. for 2023. Yep. I'll You're be like, like, no, why the last man was better. <laughs> <laughs> we had talked well, about And then Nick will be like, no, we, Paper Girls. <laughs> we had talked be about like, even like doing our picks live and coming up with stuff live. And it, it was, and then it just... It just never and then it's you guys. And then instead, here we are talking to you. And then we talk to you, and we're like, you know what? This is better than the Golden Breeze. <laughs> yeah, we, we were going to just, like, throw just some shit together and just, like, whatever. Oh. And then it was like, oh, this will yeah, this will be way better. See? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, See, I'm two. with them. Yeah. I like, I like the... Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> the uh the awards i i, well, we I could do them right now we could do them right we could, now. let's do right it now. Right. 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 right now <laughs> all right uh we'll we'll give the uh, best indie comic of 2022 to the vineyard yep yeah yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, in yeah. For it. let's go yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm down i honestly i'm 100 percent good with that <laughs> we all agree i can't so believe it that just yep. happened that's as oh, easy. That's hey, literally hey. as uh, all it takes. Hey, um, first best... and foremost, I have to thank God. <laughs> yep, yep. Dionysus. Yes, Di oh, huge. The Gotta God Dionysus. All praise. <laughs> uh, uh, next, uh, 
Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of the team, Wine. Team, the team, I'm sorry, Sammy, Taylor, um, hey. Jason. Thank Patrick, you. this thank is you. when you interrupt him and say <laughs> that somebody else should have won it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no I, I tell him, hey, 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 I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but Nottingham was the yeah, best but Nottingham. <laughs> indie book that came out. <laughs> I'm just saying, the editor on Nottingham, you know, did yeah, really killed it. Okay, hey, Ryan's just like, all right. So, well, thanks yeah. for the compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. On behalf of the team for Nottingham. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Same hey. speech. Hey. Still Dionysus. Happened, really cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a tidbit, Brian. Don't ever forget your wife. Oh, oh I forgot. Man. Oh, he man. said Dionysus. Oh, that- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did an award show one time, and this was for, you know, one of my uh, albums. And, uh, I forgot my wife. Oh no! She Uh-oh. still don't let me. I would say live you're that still down. getting crap for that, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that won't go away. That's a permanent <laughs> one. <laughs> look, look, it was so bad. She was like, "You thank your mom." <laughs> <laughs> no coming back from that one. Uh oh. <laughs> yep, that's gonna. You're gonna need a a really expensive ring to come back from that one. <laughs> I don't even think that'll work, man. I don't. <laughs> I think that's just part of it now. That's it works for the ghost. It. it can work. <laughs> so I never forget her now. Yeah, this is this is the only appropriate pulling. You think her you first can do. right off the bat now, just to like make sure you're like <laughs> Yeah. Right. I just bring my wife and then God. We bring Patrick on. It's like I'd like to thank my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Inside. Whether she's watching or not. Yep. All, right. All right. Good night, everybody. I'd like to thank my wife. <laughs> she might not anybody? be watching, but I know she's listening. <laughs> yes. Like anybody else? No, she's the nope. only responsible. Nope. It. Without her, there's nothing. <laughs> I'm destitute and in the gutter. She is it. <laughs> but you're not gonna thank God. Nope. Just nope. Her. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. They already got he, he, he didn't do nothing. It was awful. <laughs> it's a gospel. God album. don't take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> oh man. He knows it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's your savior. Well, he's, he's like right. he's like smart, he's right. smart yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was a good call. Oh wait, wait. I have one second. L- less people are watching, so this is more. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's all good, Patrick. Just, just talk to the white. It's a, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm fine. God. <laughs> yes, Brian. <laughs> Gonna ask you one question. One question. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Great use of the question. Yeah. Probably one of the best I've seen this year. I would go with at least that wins the you, golden burrito for doing? best question, I think, yes. of 2023. Definitely wins best and question. That's another golden burrito. It's yeah. another golden burrito. That's two of them. I- <laughs> And the Brian, thing I wasted, the Brian the, is the first three time Golden Burrito <laughs> Award winner. Oh, he's the three P? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Throw up signs now. Yes. <laughs> Let me sit my <laughs> coffee on that one. Because I think someone else has two. Possibly Chris Condon. I think yeah. that Texas Blood won oh, twice. Oh, I beat out Chris Condon. So now you're above Chris Condon. <laughs> <laughs> you should text him or uh, you should text him, right him suck it you should right tweet him right now I am getting him <laughs> on DM right now black cotton <laughs> so, hey. what, so what you publish by image <laughs> <laughs> whatever yeah but I'm going to burritos, burritos bro what are those <laughs> <laughs> you've won some you've won two of them he's like what, what? you don't know what that is you did he a might, video you did videos remember. for them he no. might remember no <laughs> I, oh, I, I see what he says 
<laughs> you, you talked about Iowa on their show once and how weird yeah. it is to just stand in a field in Iowa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that no, was nope. riveting. I don't content. think that happened. <laughs> that oh. sounds hella boring. Pretty oh. sure I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. But I can't wait for the awards, you know, next year for y'all. Once y'all get to read uh, Black Kind and Remember... Mm. Oh man, strong I'm contender. Excited. It's got to be a strong contender. Oh, yeah, it yeah. will. Yeah, mm. I mean, would that be number I, four for me? Yes, that would be number, <laughs> that'll be number four. I know these are golden the official. Life, we are I'm having the life. official golden burritos on a whim right now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> With whatever's attached thing. to Brian. Best, uh, best story from an anthology <laughs> mm. goes to. <laughs> We're like best best black cotton expanded universe uh, <laughs> book. Best at best black, unreleased black cotton might need its own category. Best unreleased <laughs> ash can goes to oh, that, <laughs> unreleased. Come on, come on, come on. I'm like, I think we got this one. We, we got this one. Uh, so let me ask y'all a question then. Hilarious. Yeah. On the remember ash can. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the most shocking piece for y'all? The one second. Let me go to it. Oh, that lady freaked me out though. I, didn't like her. <laughs> I mean, I think just how it started and how the uh -huh. actual story was itself was so much different than like what black cotton is, right? Because you're just like thrown into yeah, I something they were black and cotton you're just... pages. Huh? <laughs> I thought they were black cotton pages when I first opened it up. I was like, oh, sweet. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean it's, <laughs> you know, as you kind of mentioned, it's like, you know, horror, right? It's about a break in. And then I saw the, the so the, the part that I got most excited about probably was the final page that's like, hey, this will be on Kickstarter because you just see like the two detective team. And I'm like, crime stuff. Let's go. I, I've, I've always been like pretty big can into we, crime. Can you show that? The, the, Do we the, get the same pages? I'm literally I have looking that. at it in our email. I don't <laughs> have that. Is that cool? Is that cool? Yeah. I don't have that. Can he show that Kickstarter page? I assume that that's not anything crazy, right? He's about to show no, it. Uh, yeah, you oh, can yeah. show it. Okay, right, I wanted to make sure. Yeah, so you just see this, right? And I don't have that. That's not in my stuff. <laughs> just it, saying. Well, it's because you didn't. He sent an updated one today. And you oh, looked at the one that isn't that one. I got the one that I've read twice from before. <laughs> and to be fair i literally I just went down to earlier the one than that was today sent. i got the one from april 19th and that also has that back page too so i don't know what todd's on todd just cuts pages out of april the 19 season. mine was from like three weeks ago no oh, well this is the only one that i saw in the email oh okay let's look at this one what? so we have the one from three weeks what? ago right there's new stuff oh no this one also came out in april 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know, Todd. Maybe, One maybe you've edited one. it. I did. Mine's from <laughs> April 9. I think Joey sent one, didn't he? Like, Mine's from ago? April 9, no, no, no. and it was a link Nick sent me. Right. That was, from that was Ryan. The, the link. But I emailed it to I emailed it I to y'all. Check email. That's why I can't be trusted with going on the Kickstarter on the right day to get the <laughs> thing. Damn it. <laughs> It needs to be put in front of me, and then I'm diligent. I like how Todd's like, this is your fault. Yeah. No, I blame, I blame my cohorts. So, so, Brian so and why, Patrick did what's right. Why I ask that question is because everybody keeps uh, sending me an email, and they were like, the kids. No, not the kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And I guess I'm a terrible person because I don't even think about the kids. They're not was, my kids. Just, They're not my I mean, kids. Yeah, it's not my kids. Whatever. <laughs> <Them> kids. <laughs> Got too many yeah, kids I, in this world. <laughs> I mean, I think it just too. It starts off pretty unsettling, right? It's so much different. Yeah. Than what's yeah. happening in like Black Con for the most part, right? And you're just kind of like, what's oh, yeah. going on? And it, you know, I mean, it's a pretty much adrenaline pump from the beginning. So. Yeah. So that is pages uh 42 to 51. And uh, that gives you a glimpse of it is intense uh, from like what you're saying from the beginning. Wait, all can you the spin way that back? What pages? One. You said those are like those are like the end pages. 
those are uh 42 to 51 and they're 74 pages so that is oh wow smack in the uh middle okay yeah. i i almost assumed that this would like it just starts this way so interesting interesting because i think most for the most part i think most ash cans usually take like the first 13 pages or yeah. there's something yeah. not in the story itself because i think uh for the recount, I think the ash can was a completely different story. And that was one of the first ones that I'd ever seen like that. They did that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and and that was something I talked to Brian about. I was like, Brian, do I have to, you know, start at the beginning? He was like, nah. <laughs> well, I Most did say no, but I think I actually suggested the like the first eight or nine, but it was Joey actually who suggested, I think. Right, right, right. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, gotta get credit where credit due because I would have probably. <laughs> I'm old, old. I'm old school. I probably like, just go with like the first nine. But they, <laughs> they, um, again, you know, is one of the things where Patrick, you know, he's, you know, this is his 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 baby. Like he's he's led this whole this whole thing, and you know, he met with Joey and. They discuss what, what what pages, and I really, you know, I'm just the editor, you know, you know, and and I had the opportunity to read the script and then jump in when the art, you know, the art and letters. But it's been really cool just seeing the process of the book coming together with you know Pat's creative team and seeing what you know they put together the marketing team, what what they're doing with that, and just watching all the conversation coming in through um the fa through facebook messenger like i'm on there with them but they're just going for it just just chatting and going <laughs> so i got to watch remember like come together and it was uh, truly great to see yeah. that's yeah. sweet and i'm glad that you're like a good friend where you're not just like randomly in there like nah that sounds terrible just to like <laughs> throw them off for a little bit that's something that i would kind of be doing like about. oh you're you're gonna do that yeah i mean i just think that if i were on this we'd probably do this a little bit different <laughs> who wrote uh, that <laughs> You like laugh. Yeah. You're like, that's funny. But what's what's really the end? <laughs> How are you really going to do it? <laughs> that's the bizarro Brian version. Right <laughs> Another reality. No, that's cool, though. Yeah. yeah. And then that's that, like I said, that's the cool part of having a great mentor, you know, like Brian, you know, someone who you can put stuff out together. But at the same token, when uh he sees a spark he's like hey man you know let's do it you know go ahead and get that out there so uh it is phenomenal uh you know working with brian and uh shoot i can't i can't wait for y'all to see all of the stuff that we have <laughs> been collabing together on just as is gonna blow your freaking mind oh. matter of fact tell them the real the oh. real name of it so okay, so <laughs> so we're working on this book. It is is it's not it's one of the things where Patrick and I was having lunch and, and we had, we were talking about selling like <laughs> we're talking about black cotton. We're walking out of the park and he said, Oh yeah, 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 look, I've been thinking about this idea, right? I'm like, <laughs> Okay, here we go. And so he's in all this idea. And then once again, I'm like, Oh yo, yeah, and here's what we do. <laughs> and then, <laughs> You know, it was another black cotton, black cotton moment, and what ended up happening is so we're working on this new, I guess you could say, a horror thriller um, that's going mm. to be through the BCU, and it's called "All All You Have to Do Is Ask." But we're going to have a second title, so we're going with the idea, like you know how I hate this place mm -hmm. has I hate this place, but then it has well, no, this I, place wait. has fuck this place, yeah. You like, mean this? So, oh. That one, yeah, fuck this. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I love. I got so that one. I love this. I love that book. Like that's. What I, I do too. Doing. It's so good. Me too. It's yeah. really good. So, so. Golden burrito. Sorry. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, right. One time. It's only a one time. It's winner, only a though. winner. All right. All right. No big deal. I accept like that. It's so, only for best image, so you're fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all you have to do. All you have to do is ask is the first title 
but the mm-hmm. second title of the book is going to be Just Fucking Ask. Yeah. <laughs> How about that That's one? That's the one I'm getting. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I want that one. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love it. Because I get, um, uh, I hate Fairyland, but I actually, I get Fuck Fairyland. Those are my favorite things. I yeah. I love it. Nice. It's just my favorite. I'm just I mad. always get that variant every time. Yeah, if there's I'm an mad. F-bomb variant, then I need that one. Which is my favorite because our shop owner is like, I'm only going to get these for the exactly. people who want it, so are you sure yeah, you he want it? And they won't get extras or anything. And I'm yeah. like, yes, please. If it has if it has an F-bomb in the title, you could probably just sign me up for it. <laughs> Well, bless you. Long. Thank you. <laughs> and then it's funny because then it's like, then there's the message from me, like, hey, I need this too. Like, right after <laughs> yours. <laughs> like, yeah. Because <laughs> we okay. just talked about it. I fucking need that. <laughs> <laughs> That's always my favorite when he still randomly is like, do you think Nick and Todd would want this? And I was like, like you're probably going to talk to them at some yeah. point. You can just, I like, I'm going to show I, up to work. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I don't know. Me. Your guess is probably as good as mine. This is I, just a really I random there, book I asked for. My favorite thing is I'll show up to work and he'll be like, "Hey, Cole got this. <laughs> Do you want one of these?" I get all, all the time. I get my polls and I'm like, "What is this?" And they're like, "Oh, Todd pulled it." And I'm like, "Okay." Like, or it, or if it's Todd and Cole pulled it, oh, you're yeah. for yeah. sure getting it. Yeah, you just putting stuff in there because it's That's we funny. call it a burrito, boys. There's two books that the whole shop only the three of us get <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. a, yeah well yeah i mean ice, i think ice for, cream man i believe is one of them for the first 25 issues of ice cream man i was the only person in the entire shop that and then it. nick and oh, I wow. up. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. and it was just, uh, I, just I, I jumped on at 22 maybe or yeah yeah so but, I yeah just, sorry <laughs> maybe so three, three issues it's 22 Whoa. that's three issues whoa, whoa <laughs> I hold on here Wait a yeah, because I remember you're like roll. you were like they didn't have any back like any other covers. Yeah, they didn't and I was have like any back and, issues. And anything. he said that, and I'm like, hey, who else pulls ice cream man besides me here? And they're no like, one. no one. Yeah, just you. And, it's, and then and then Nick Horrible. shows up, and then I show up. They so said, we're the only they said and we don't can. even want to pull it for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, we you barely just, do it. Then yeah. they're like, you wow. just have been here since like the day we opened. Like, I think I was the first person to actually set up a pull list because I got back into comics and they were opening like in three months. So I was like, hey, can I start a pull list now? And they're like, what? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I guess. <laughs> I was let like, me I grab just a, let reading. me grab a piece of paper for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so without even like, open. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think if you said book? like <laughs> if you want to start a, a pre-order, you can. So I was just like, oh, this is cool. Like, let's put Batman on there. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, well, the craziest thing it's is another burrito poll. Only uh, the three of us pull yeah. Batman. I <laughs> added like uh, I added Bitch Planet, not I even just knowing what it. it was. Bitch Pan- Planet didn't have an issue for like four Dude, years, yeah. and then they randomly so give me an issue of Bitch Planet, Bitch Planet and I'm like, Why do I have it's issue so nine of Bitch Planet? And they're like, I don't know. You added it to your pull list, and I was like, What? And they're like, four I don't know. <laughs> Because that was it. I was just like, oh, this title sounds cool. Let's add it. You know, Bitch Planet. It's one of the it's best. A re- it's a really good book. It's, it's a great. Of, name, yeah. It's just it's one of the best comic names. Ever. I actually have the volume one trade. Yeah, that's yeah. what I have. I do too. Yeah. <clears throat> it's yeah. real good. I don't know if I read volume two. I, I don't know. I know I haven't read volume it's two. Good. The, okay. do, does anyone know anything about, and I haven't looked this up yet, about excellence? Is that ever coming back? Oh yeah, no it um, Dude, it's, it's a it, I think it just, right? yeah it's that it's Andy like Diggle? yeah no no no, no so the last Kickstarter was um I bought like number one and number two of that series and I haven't read because I have one through I have one, one of my through, biggest regrets is dropping I have one oh. through ten oh yeah oh no that's Excellent. different yeah that was yeah. They no, dropped the Kickstarter but they never started a new but thing. I'm pretty sure that it is coming back like okay. At least that's what I heard last year, but that doesn't mean that it. It was optioned, wasn't it? Yes, and I think that's when they started yeah. talking about bringing it back because I have one through ten in singles, and then I have another one through five in singles. Okay, um, I love it. I, it's so good. Yeah. It is so good. So good. <laughs> Put that See, back on my hoopla. It's yeah, I mean they. It, I don't know why they would. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's, it's crazy because it's so good. There's so much worse garbage 
I don't know how that, that that's the understand. worst part is when it's just it's so good and then it's just like and then you see them put out scumbag and you're like all right fine but like, they're still doing that <laughs> like damn it in the scumbag too, yeah. how much can you milk that like it <laughs> i thought six maybe 12 issues me too <laughs> the first issue was great like it was. that was an amazing first issue and then i read seven more issues and was like i'm yeah. probably done with this like and it's not bad it's that. just like how much do you want to like feel like you need to take a shower after reading comic <laughs> book? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's just it's I mean it's about a guy because it's so well done. Biggest, yeah, I mean it's yeah, well it's, done, it's but really it's really well done. Like, actually. Oh yeah, no, you, you really I mean it's Rick back. Remender, so it's not yeah. like you you got just somebody writing a bad comic book, but <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I definitely well, need a volume two of, 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 of excellence. Yeah. Fun I know Brandon you. Thomas is very busy with DC lately, so I don't know. Too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, like it needs to split up, kind of like how Rodney Barnes. Oh. I mean, he's you talking about a hard worker right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Star Wars, and then he's still pumping out his own stuff. His own stuff. What's the other one? He Philadelphia, Nita Hawes, yeah. and he's, he's, he's busy, Blackula. He's busy Blackula. just in. Next, and then you realize that he's also doing like producing, and, yeah, producing stuff, and it's like, yeah. how? What's the how? um? What's the I one that's in? Uh, is it set in? Where is it? The new the Chicago? It's um, Compton. it's an alien book. Compton, Compton. yeah, Compton. Monarch. It's the alien Monarch. one, Monarch. It's good. I've just been it's waiting really for really trade good. because I'm trade waiting Nita Huzz too. So I read like Monarch. two issues. I'm I think of Monarch, it. and it's really good. Yeah, the Philadelphia yeah. hardcover is real pretty, though. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I mean, he oh, doesn't yeah. make any bad books. And I, I have heard he only amazing thing, like crazy things about the issue that's dropping this week of Philadelphia. And I, and I have like, is that issue thirty? Yeah, I do, and I, I like have it he loaded said up on my tablet, like right there, and I'm like, oh, I, I always <laughs> wait. I always wait, but I keep hearing about it, yeah. and I'm like, "Yeah, uh, Blake I'm had like, him on, and he said that it's supposed to change the entire landscape of Philadelphia. It's supposed Ooh. to be huge. Wow. Like, like when he was and, talking about it, and granted, I've I've only read like George the first Washington. two volumes, so like I was just <laughs> he's like, already in there. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, so I, was, I was going well, with a non-spoiler. <laughs> I was also thinking, in case I was right, <laughs> that it was like the way he was explaining it made it seem like time travel might come into this. Yeah, oh, wow. it's like what? something wild. Yeah. So, I, but I don't know. I don't know. This is, just, times. this is just a guy that hasn't read, like, you know, only the two first volumes of Philadelphia, and I'm making yeah. assumptions about stuff that somebody's talking about. But Cole, they did time about. travel five episodes, five issues yeah. ago. <laughs> Which, yeah, I guess that could be a thing that happened in there that I don't know about, too. Uh, I'm a trade behind because I, I, I trade weight it, but I am caught up and I have no idea. I have, a, <laughs> I have single, no. I have I have four single issues that I have piled up that I still have to read to get caught up. So, see, that's how I kept being because I like reading it so much together. That after the second arc, I switched to trades because I'm like, yeah. one issue literally never suffices, and yeah. it just hurts. The way no, it's is, not. But I it, but knowing one's out not, there, I can't not read it. And I'm like, I still don't really understand oh, it's what's going me, so on until I reread it. <laughs> it. Well, yeah, I do too. And then I have to like reread from one, and it's wonderful. Right. So yeah. it's gotcha. that's yeah. how I read you comics. It's like the hardcover, and it's just like ooh, yeah, I just read everything, over. and if I love it, then I'll go back to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Black Cotton, which I've read. Like, at least eight to 12 times. You know, I, I in the last 72 hours, I will say that black cotton would be like, if I made a list of like series that I've reread, black cotton would be very high on that list. I gave I've one probably to read it. Thank you. Yeah. I've, I've, I've read black cotton a lot because I don't know. I remember at one point I did a challenge. Mm-hmm. I was like, do this and I'll donate copies to the library. And I never followed up on that. So I just bought a couple and donated them to the <laughs> library. <laughs> oh, In man. fact, I was reading, uh, I was reading my digital, my digital copies, but I still, I, I, I was going to ask you about this. Like it, when I rent it from Hoopla, like does anything happen for you guys? 
at all. Like I'm assuming they buy the license once when you to when, Hoopla, right? When you said like so I saw your tweets and when you yeah. said like like and I'm I'm like don't know anything about Hoopla. I didn't know it was on there. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's 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 a digital just recently got out. It's a digital like rental from my library. That's so it'd be it'd question. be the same if I went to the library and like our library out. too got pretty got into digital before yeah. A lot of stuff does. So I know, like, I know my buddy, his mom worked there and he lived, him and his like brother both lived in Los Angeles and his sister lived somewhere in another like bigger city than ours. And they all had passes to the Kent District Library because mm-hmm. their digital platform was better than like Los Angeles' stuff yeah. at wow. the time, right? So it's just like, yeah, she just got it because they got so early into some of these stuff that they got it. I know like some people like, uh, chaos and comics he was saying he gets like 20 checkouts on hoopla we only get like five or no, 10, we get 10. 10 now we yeah get 10. but it's like still like i mean like 10 graphic novels for free oh, that you, you can get check out that is great it's pretty and, great yeah i mean i'm guessing that it's, or, or albums or movies or yeah i know i yeah. there was uh i've been listening to this podcast that talks about movies and i only listen when they talk about horror movies and there was one movie that they were talking about that i'd never heard of and the only place to rent it was hoopla so i rented it on hoopla and watched it i don't even remember what the movie was and oh, I, wow. so that probably says something about it horror of hoopla <laughs> you didn't even remember it, uh, it it's, it's like a great a, one <laughs> i don't know it was one you of those check movies it out. that is like you gotta watch it <laughs> well it's hard, right? Like 2001 A Space Odyssey is like a movie that if the first time that you see that movie is in is like 2010, movie? you're like, you know what? This movie's not that great, right? But like when that <laughs> came out, that was insanely good, right? Got you. Yeah. I was going to play off not mm-hmm. knowing it, but you saying that it's not good in 2010 makes me want to throw a beer at your face. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's just not like the concept of what? it isn't nearly as crazy of a concept now in current times than okay. it was when it was released 30 years ago. Even if the concept's ago. not good, though, Stan it's still Kubrick, a good concept. The right, visuals, it's good, but like it's the not. Visuals watching alone, it 30 years you could ago would have been mute. so much better. You can put it on mute, and it's better than every movie that comes out nowadays. Oh, it is, I don't know about that. I don't know, man. Mario gorgeous. Brothers just came out. Don't what? say anything. Yet. I have, we haven't seen it as a film yet. Don't say anything. I'm so it's excited. Oh, yeah. Either. We haven't either because we do Was it family good? movies at I home. liked it. We don't oh, yeah. do movie theater as family, so I also haven't seen it yet. Yeah, so but it's also the first movie I took my daughter. But I pre-ordered it on so. 4K ultra high def disc oh, nice. so i'm gonna f- own it because i've heard too many people say how great it is so i'm like i'm gonna do it like legit if i'm gonna yeah. do it i'm gonna set up the projector oh get out the popcorn machine and do like legit family movie night for nice Mario right. Brothers. Right. i'm excited yeah dungeons and dragons was good oh yeah i've heard i enjoyed that it. too it's so good yeah yeah yeah, yeah it was really good for a D lover it made like my year in life because I'm like I used to get picked on for this shit. Look at all these fucking assholes just watching it and laughing. You dicks. <laughs> I made a note for Hoopla because mm. that's a great question. And to, to well, play. yeah, I was curious because I often, yes, even no. though we only get ten and Chaos gets twenty, I often Flash don't me. use all of my rentals. And if it ben- if if I knew that it benefited you you just check it out <laughs> i would just check it out like yeah, gotcha. lots lots of right, indie right. books you checked out people. black cotton 10 times this month <laughs> i well i could only do it once a month but i could do that for you know technically five, twice because you get it for 21 you could, days yeah you yeah could, five, but yeah. i would do that for five to ten can't you you can return people. it though you, can uh, you could it. yeah <laughs> you so i could do it 10 it times it a month you could do it 10 times <laughs> <No>. <laughs> See, but if it, if it like if it like puts it in like if it's but an I'm algorithm it's, thing it's gotta be it's like a... it's gotta be just like a library thing where they bought one license per well digital time. i feel like gets weird right it does they only yeah. have so license. many that they can rent out if we all tried to do black cotton at once it'll probably say it's already checked it's out it's already checked out because they only buy so many licenses per digital yeah I've had and that then, before where I've tried to get a book and it's like, oh, so I'm sure try, it was to, more try tomorrow. For, I'm sure it was well, more expensive Well, that's just they've used too many well, Yeah. What's, what's, what's going to be the question, and, it, and I'm, I'm really curious <laughs> to know now because, you know, thinking about our, our statements, I've never seen anything on there about licenses. And so mm. now my question right. is... Unless it's you know, literally like they buy 
It could just be they bought 10 ebook versions e-book, right of it. right yeah, it's, a, it's an e- that that's it how you get it they is it own it e-book. so then they yeah. like they just rent mm-hmm. it out because they might it might not be any it might not be a license it literally might just sure. be they bought 10 pdfs no, well, right and that was, which is still something that's cool yeah. like right. yeah but like this yeah. i'm just happy that it's in the library you know yeah that that's why they didn't have any physicals so i was just like yeah. the cool thing get those too. in front of these because they put all the graphic novels in the teen section and i'm like freaking conservative west michigan is that i was also these, able to find this those are mostly superhero one of these kids stuff. needs to stumble across oh, this, wow. up. <laughs> this is also on hoopla <laughs> all right hey <laughs> i haven't read it yet but it's on there and i, I did rent it <laughs> all right let me know what you think so, shout out yeah. to anthony Pugh, the the, the <laughs> illustrator look at that my uh it comes in ten i don't know if this is supposed to be i guess i could ask i I have you now is it is it like prose with yes it is with 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 pictures yes yep okay i was making sure it came through in a weird format at first that's one text bubble (laughs) yeah that's a text bubble right there (laughs) that's um pros are just a giant text bubble that's all they are um man that was in 20 th- that was actually 2019 going into 2020 um Ooh. i got linked up with jollyfish press and they uh they asked me to write two books for them uh about codename danger so yeah Ooh. cool cool a little yeah. time travel yeah 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 the, the pre-pandemic well, years it's pre-pandemic, basically a decade yeah. ago <laughs> i i actually submitted the first book right before the pandemic right yeah, before the and the second there's book agent there oh yeah there in the so, second book sweet. i was writing during the pandemic and I, I i didn't turn that one in until until august of 2020 because so, you were busy with black cotton i was, I was writing black, i'm writing black <laughs> cotton wow <laughs> <laughs> that would take a little longer. I all of a sudden yeah. had something else I was really interested in doing. Patrick was like, B, what are you doing? I'm like, huh? What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> I've been missing for like two over days. Over here, like, Code Name <laughs> Well, if that's on Hoopla, I'm going to have to check that out. Because that's, uh, yeah, that's some Hawkins I haven't read. So. Oh, yeah. That's and what it I looks like. They have issues one through six available mm-hmm. for checkout and the trade of Black mm-hmm. Cotton. Oh, so, nice. like, you can weirdly waste you can six credits. Singles? <laughs> <laughs> or trying to... do you want? Yeah. Well, they I do that. Like... They do that because as issues come out, they are putting they're them they're available, and then when the trade comes out, it's available. Same way they, you can get like don't... Saga. You can get yeah. Saga Day of because yeah. they're getting the singles. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, cool. it's really nice for me because I check those out so I can screenshot each one and print out my own copy of Black Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's totally free on the, yeah. on the Android <laughs> app. They don't let you take screenshots. I'll... I like the oh, idea. Don't. But if you go into a web browser and view Hoopla and from a web browser, yeah, you obviously can take I'm, a I, need to, I need to use my Adobe suite that I pay for yeah. <laughs> so that I can steal a the Hoopla <laughs> of each page. <laughs> yep. That's funny. And, and then Todd Pirates in the too. worst way yes. possible. Yeah, I put I put lack of faith designs on everyone that I do. <laughs> I mean, like, I make them into stickers. I. Eight and a half by eleven stickers of black cotton issues. <laughs> you nice. could have a you could have a remember sticker edition where the yep. whole issue is all. I'm stickers. just gonna do the whole issue of stickers. <laughs> it's all it stickers. It's just stickers. <laughs> just an idea. You can use it or don't. No. So, <laughs> you can use it or don't. Like that's an option. <laughs> I mean, I would probably check out a sticker comic. I know that there was a <laughs> Superman one where you got stickers and, and you could like decorate it on the place. cover. Yeah, but, I would love. Like but I'm you say it's Nightwing, it and I'm like, this is really cool pose of his, and I just peel Nightwing out of the comic book and stick him on something. It'd be pretty great. <laughs> and then return it to the library. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the library edition's trash because all the stickers are gone. <laughs> wow. But then you can just draw in your own Nightwing. It becomes then a coloring book afterwards. Ooh. Ah. Hey. 
it becomes that scoop book because Scout puts out those. Uh, yeah, the kids. Oh the yeah, kids yeah. Ones. yeah, yeah, and they're all one ninety nine, which is kind of nice. Yeah, it's nice because yeah, I've cool. gotten them for. Yeah. I've gotten both of them so far. Some of them are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got yeah, amazing. I read, uh, I read some to my daughter because they used to come when I'd get the Scout box. Yep. I just started putting all of those in a comic box in her room because she always gets these stickers and it's like oh just put your stickers on this white comic book box yeah. and now they're not all over my house which is great but then like now it's like hey dad can we read this i've been using dcui lately and we've been reading the teen titans go which oh, has been pretty fun so good but right. like but yeah it's just funny because sometimes she'll just pull out a comic and like oh, let's read this and it, usually nice. if they're on a bunch of girls and she's like i don't want to read this one anymore <laughs> we're my yeah. daughter and i are reading the library edition avatar the last airbender books oh wow cool. which are really cool nice. it's like well the... my daughter and i just started lumberjanes <laughs> oh <laughs> I, my oh, daughter's yeah. not quite old enough mm-hmm. i'm so jealous because mm-hmm. i have them I have the the manual versions, the fancy hardcover Ooh. ones. Oh, yeah. and I'm those so excited cool. to yeah. read those with my daughter. Oh. Yeah, that one's she like, like you know borderline, isn't it? She, How old's your daughter? Like ten. Nick? So she's she's about yeah. the age she's, of the girls in the comics. Yeah, okay. she's that she's works. right it's, there. It's pretty so, firmly young adult, so it's like preteens are like. There's some stuff that might be yeah, like it'll go over right. the head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but she like recently read some like without me, and that's kind oh. of that's Ooh. kind of a thing now where it's like, whoa, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. whoa, yeah, man, hold on, hold on. you can't read ahead, like, no, you have to encourage that because it's like, <laughs> no. yes, comics. Oh no, that's bad. You shouldn't do that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, hold on. That's daddy and daughter time. Yeah. This is our book. Yeah. yeah. So you, you have to, well, you have to admonish stuff. to her so that she then keeps doing it and then yeah. punish her by just rereading what she's <laughs> already read ahead on. Because <laughs> she is supposed to read the dialogue and I am supposed uh, to read the sound the, effects. You, oh, Come you on. Do, like, <laughs> right. Who, do, who does the exposition? I, I end up reading most of it. <laughs> I end up reading most of it. <laughs> You got to teach her. Um, Swip. Uh, you got to teach her her poker face. You know, yeah. I haven't read it, Dad. Oh wow, yeah. this is very exciting of a book. To oh be no, read. I can't believe they've gotten themselves in that situation. <laughs> she knows how to lie. She's got oh, that my. down. Okay. She knows. <laughs> well, you know, the three older siblings will do that. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of training to see what they do wrong and just be like. You're stupid. Oh. You're stupid. You're stupid. Yeah. yeah, I can do this better. <laughs> the bad part is uh my wife loves to watch uh like we've been watching Power. Uh 50 cents, you know, mm-hmm. show. Uh so we've been watching Power and she'll put it on and fall asleep. Uh, so every night Yep. I have to rewind the episode. Yeah, to where she but, fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So That's every classic. night, it's like three nights in a row. I've had to watch the same episode. <laughs> oh, I can't. You're believe an that expert. Ended this yeah. way. <laughs> she did what? And and she wonders why you forgot about her in that speech. Yeah. <laughs> Stop making me watch Power. <laughs> That's funny. I want to see episode three. (laughs) That is funny. I'll look over and I'm like, her eyes are closed. (laughs) Yeah. Damn. All the time. (laughs) Gotta watch it again. (laughs) All the time. Yeah. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Oh, (laughs) Good stuff, good yeah, stuff. you're not alone in that. That's nope. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're really not. Nope. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> right. oh, well, man. we're all old, and we started an hour earlier to fi- finish up early, which still worked out. Because if this was a ten o'clock time, we'd be Every, we'd be pushing midnight right now. So. You go. Yes. Uh, and, yeah, I have to go to bed soon because I have to wake up early. Love you guys so much. This, this is great. Up. Love having oh, you. This was the best way we could 
possibly if, come back. If you guys weren't Michael. busier, I'd be like, it should be the five of us doing comic burrito. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love we'll give that. ourselves all the golden burritos. It'll be great. <laughs> you just have to tell us about this wraparound cover, yeah, like on the show need. tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> that's that's don't have released. That's it. It's the uh, deal, but right? They, but <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll cut you into this burrito. Um, hey, that <laughs> might that might be it right there. Who, you want to be the Pico? We got room for Pico. Um, <laughs> but thank Ooh. you so much, both of you, for being on. Uh, for everyone who is still watching and interested and Not somehow yet. hasn't heard us talking about Black Cotton for the last, what, seven to 12 years? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, all of the links are in the description. You can find uh, a link to Black Cotton Volume 2, uh, the Kickstarter to get notified on launch because I need that. You need the notification. So do you. Yeah. And they, they're uh, everybody needs the notification. So. Like, God. And if you go to the scout store and buy this book, BC. use code burrito for 10% off. That's yeah. still Dude, that, that it still works. It still works. Does it? It, it still does. works. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. used it literally All caps two weeks burrito. ago. Oh. Um, so go get volume one uh, in a bunch of different ways. There's some really yeah. awesome get variants some cool on variant there. Covers. If you want to get the singles, grab the trade, then grab some cool variants. My favorite one may or may not be sold out, but there's still some really awesome variants on one. there. Um, and then uh, both Brian and Patrick's Twitters are on there. Go check it out. Go uh, and understand, if you haven't read this, understand why it won a Golden Burrito, because we joked a lot about it. <laughs> it honestly deserves all of the awards. It's fantastic. And it we didn't give the first one of Brian's burritos, Golden Burritos, lightly. It was actually a debate. <laughs> and like, yeah. It was when we were taking it very seriously. Um, <laughs> the other two, whatever. Um, <laughs> Three figured times. I'm good with. I, I, I'm, good with I the am second very one. The serious third... all of the time. Yeah, it's... <laughs> that is what Nick is known for. Yeah. Um, somebody yeah. has to be. So, yeah, someone has, has to. Has to if someone has to play the straight man. Yeah, and it's always Nick. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's his role. Uh, that's why he does the outros and <laughs> brings it all together at the end. Very cool. Man, but we, thank we, you we appreciate y'all. Yeah, nah, no, we 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 truly always enjoy our time with y'all so uh yeah. we had to reach out to you you know we we were like hey where y'all at <laughs> <laughs> and uh hey we appreciate being the ones y'all you know get back on the scene with you know Got once, you a, back. once Got or twice back. a year it's just a black we're just a black cotton uh stream now where it's bcu <laughs> presents comic burrito oh yeah <laughs> yeah we're now part of the BCU. i really wish i would have yeah, known about sweet. all this because if i would have gotten the updated one i might have titled the episode yeah, yeah. people be like have you read this book and they even have like a podcast thing like a youtube show <laughs> yeah. that goes with it yeah it's, it's really not anything like that no it doesn't really make sense but hey they uh, have it. <laughs> yeah. it's real weird one yeah. of them won't even say black kind i know it won't even say it. it just says bc all the time and then he says he says the b word it's really weird <laughs> Oh man! Hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, oh man! Ow! All right. Yeah, it's my face. Ones. My face needs a rest because it's been too long since I've done one of these, and it's not used to smiling this much. Uh, Just start looking. Life at doesn't pictures. usually have this much joy and happiness. No, I mean, well, I really revel in the stoicism, so my face doesn't do this often. That's uh, yeah. But thank yeah. you both. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah. this has been yeah. Comic Burrito, a live stream. I'm Todd. I'm Cole. And I'm Nick. I'm Brian. And I'm Patrick. Yeah. And this has been Comic Burrito, a live stream. Black Cotton. Black Cotton. Black Cotton. Black Cotton.